Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shay from The Sleepless Planner, and today I'm going to share with you something that I do often in my bullet journal. As you can see, this page started out being something else, um, and after I committed it to ink, I decided that I didn't want to create that spread anymore. The first rule of bullet journaling is do not force yourself <laughs> to create a spread when you are just plain not in the mood. It needs to just come out of you naturally. So yeah, I broke the first rule. The second rule is no hand lettering after you've had caffeine. And you will see later in this video that I broke that rule again. Maybe I'm just not a fan of rules. So I'm um, just kidding. There are no rules in bullet journaling. This is something that I like to do um, both to cover mistakes. That way I don't tear out any pages or um, sometimes I'll just uh, stick the pages together. But I knew that I had some journaling that I wanted to get out of my system. And I knew that it was going to be some sensitive journaling, meaning that it's something that I'm still processing and still um, working my way through. And it's uh, something that I'm feeling heavily right now. Sometimes it's uh, fears or anxiety or um, you know, just things that weigh on you sometimes. And so one of the things that I like to do when I have sensitive journaling like that is that I like to put it in a nice envelope and that way it's out of my system, it's still in my journal, but I don't have to feel those feelings every time I turn the page. I used the We Are Memory Keepers uh, punch board to create this envelope and I have to say it's definitely one of my favorite tools. So easy to use, a bajillion tutorials are available in the interwebs and if you enjoy paper crafting or if you would just like to make your own envelopes, I highly recommend it. Oh wow, I bet you when the other one comes out, that tooth will come out. When the other one grows, that tooth will be ready. Isn't that funny? It's growing. Those are your big girl tooth. Yeah, your big girl teeth. It's coming. I used to get baby teeth. Yep. You always had the best smile. Look how cute. Now, now, um, uh, Yes. Yeah. When you only had that one little snaggle tooth when you were a baby. Yes. It was so cute. We have a picture of you on the swings at the farm with your little snaggle tooth. Because it was so cute. Watch out, Mama. Come give me a hug over here. After, yeah, later. Okay. One of the things that I also like to have hand in hand when I do um, private journaling like this, I guess if you want to call it, is that I like to have um, some motivating words um, along with it. Part of that is that I just think it ties well together and it kind of um, gives that journal entry some closure, I think. Um, and uh, another part of it is because I don't really like to start another spread. Like, let's say I would never then go ahead and do like a daily next to this or anything that's functional in that way, just because I don't know. I just don't think that they're related. I feel like this needs to be, you know, in its own place. So, um, you know, to each his own. That's just the way that I like to have it. Um, I did some deep digging in the cavernous <laughs> parts of my uh, unused brain because mom life. And I just really tried to be um, 
introspective, if that's the right word, and and think about um, what I was journaling about and how um, I could motivate myself through that. And I came up with this um, quote, if you will. You can quote me <laughs> because it came from my brain. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, tried it once and erased it, and now I'm trying it again. And that's the beauty of drafting in pencil first, my friends, because even if you've done this a bunch of times, you will make mistake after mistake, and I really wasn't in the mood to have to cover another page. <laughs> so um, I would highly recommend that you draft in pencil first, and then you commit to the ink once you're happy with it. The reason why I erased it was because I didn't feel that the right words were being focused on. I felt that dream was hidden, but don't was um, really, uh, I don't know, highlighted uh, in, in the big uh, flowy hand lettering. And, you know, neg uh, highlighting a negative word wasn't really what I was going for as far as motivation. So I definitely knew that I needed to adjust that so that the positive words, the ones that um, gave me that little push, were the ones that were going to be in the forefront with the hand lettering. And I really liked the way that it came out. I probably, well I know that I can, always do a better job at um, spacing and um, keeping the sizing um, consistent, but I mean, that's what practice is for. And um, I just don't always devote as much time to practicing my hand lettering as I would like. I'm happy with having learned the method at all and being uh, largely self-taught. I mean, I definitely watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos and I follow a lot of amazing hand lettering accounts on Instagram. Um, if you're interested in knowing what accounts those are, do comment below and I will gladly lead you their way. There are just like some incredible artists out there. Um, but I'm okay with, I feel like I, you know, have plateaued at this level of hand lettering. But I'm fully aware that if I practice more and I get out of my comfort zone that I could continue to improve. But you know, what else? I'm good with this. This is fine. So yeah, I love this quote and how it turned out. I did make a mistake here, but um, I got a little, um, a white, I think it's a Pentel, um, I'll try and link it below and uh, made a little bit of those corrections, but um, I think it turned out fine. I'm erasing some of the pencil where you can see it. I switched erasers <laughs> and making a little bit of uh, corrections and then later you'll see, you'll see me add um, some details with a Muji pen that I got from a pen pal. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, I hope that you'll consider subscribing and please let me know what you feel about this um, hidden journaling envelope. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. I'm the Sleepless Planner. Don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!